To derail is to cause a train, a streetcar, etc., to run off the rails of a track. This is for your word for you for 2016. Do not get derailed. Derailed is to cause to fail or become deflected from a purpose. Reduce or delay the chances for success or development of, for example, being drafted into the army derailed his career for two years, obstructed a process by diverting it from its intended course. The plot is seen by some as an attempt to derail the negotiations. Okay, I was almost derailed coming to church. Trust me, the enemy wanted this message not to go mm. out into the atmosphere today. Mm. I was called and, and a particular gossiper who was gossiping about the shutdown of the particular churches in Grand Bahama and what church was being shut down here, there, and everywhere called me just to tell me. And when mm. I said, look, I can't talk while mm. I'm not to hit the shower, mm. I have to go give my exhortation and prepare for the house of God. Mm -hmm. Do you know this particular gossiper says, and I think we have to love our gossipers, right? You have to love them mm -hmm. too. You have to love them even more. Mm -hmm. So this particular gossiper says, why are you even going there? Did God assign you there? Did God mm -hmm. tell you to even go there? Mm -hmm. She knew I was coming here. So, that was one instance of someone trying to derail me mm -hmm. from my assignment. Mm -hmm. But Pastor DeHaney, clearly, if, if that preach that he gave on staying on your assignment, mm -hmm. that is so important mm -hmm. for 2016. Mm -hmm. And not to get derailed. Mm -hmm. Don't let people get you derailed, okay? Many of us are neglecting our spiritual needs. We have a tendency to lean on our physical needs mm -hmm. more so than our spiritual mm -hmm. needs. Well, 1 Timothy 4 and 14, I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. Do not neglect the spiritual gift within you. That special endowment, which was intentionally bestowed on you by the Holy Spirit through prophetic utterance when the elders laid their hands on you at your ordination. For those of you who are not ordained here in this gathering, this, what I'm going to say next, is for you. Some of you may have begun a walk with God, but then you crossed a certain threshold. Correct? And what happened when you crossed the threshold? You got derailed. Okay? And you decided not to go past a particular point in your walk with God. Mm. You may have allowed, you may have allowed the rebellious spirit of a husband. I'm preaching up here today. Am I preaching up here today or boyfriend to derail you? Mm -hmm. Addictions may have gotten in the way. Mm -hmm. Lustful behavior got in the way. Pornography got in the way. Yes. Whether it's soft mm -hmm. or hard, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Alcohol got in the way. Mm -hmm. Nicotine got in the way. Beaties today, when all these young kids mm -hmm. are smoking, these beaties and these other little, little cigar cigarettes that light up. Okay, when you smoke them, all right, and, and, and make these funny uh, color smoke, okay? Well, they're smoking all kinds of things today. Uh, even food addictions. Food yes, addictions yes. can get in the way. Mm -hmm. Food addictions can derail us. Yes. Food addictions can cause a spirit of infirmity upon the body yes. of Christ. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Becoming derailed is going to take you off of your course with God mm -hmm. Almighty. But that doesn't have to last forever. Even though you may have got derailed for a season, this is the time, 2016, say, I'm coming back. Yes. I'm coming back on track. Amen. And you can get back on track anytime with the Lord Jehovah God. Say, this is going to be my destiny year. So it's going to be my destiny year. Make sure yes. if this is going to be your destiny year, the Lord say this. Make sure that there is nothing on your plate that is not tied to your destiny.
destiny or your assignment. Now that's what the Lord dropped in my spirit right after your sermon that you gave was awesome and off the, I mean, you got to hear his sermon. That there is nothing on your plate. So if today is your destiny launch, say today is my destiny launch. I'm launching into a new level. Okay. You have to make sure there's nothing on your plate that derails you. Them gossipers, the ones who call you, and the ones who are what's up in, and who even before you get ready to take the pulpit, Uh they want to sidetrack you. They want to derail you yes. and take you away from what God has purposed for your life. Yes. It's going to happen. Mm. Expect yes. those derailers to come. They're going to come. Oh, Jesus. They're going to come. Tap it on your door. Acting mm. like they're your best yes. friend. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Okay, mm. I am cleaning the plate. This is 2016. I'm cleaning the plate. Yes. All you derailers, you must go in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. yes. I am forking over my knife. Yes. Have you heard of the new diet plan? Yes. This year is called forks over knives. That means no more meat. Some of you might have to cut that meat yes. off of your plate. Yes. That meaty gossipers talking all kinds yes. of smash. Yes. Yes. Okay, you got to get rid of that. Amen. We're going to start this new year with a clean plate. Amen. A clean plate for your mighty God. Hallelujah. Because of derailment, many, many will never walk no. to the third day of perfection. Oh like I